Be down like the button in the staircase. By oh, interesting. So I just I just had to be back more. Cool. Oh god, I'm gonna get wrecked here. That's funny. You follow you down the stairs. You had to be down by the boss gears, otherwise he would follow you. So I just had to be farther down, like right here, is what you're saying? Like this one? Oh god. Holy shit! There, you and Gasco, you would trip. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of unfortunate, honestly. Cheese backwards, but I'll take it, all right? We, we, <laughs> I will take it. Interesting. Very cool. All right, so we're going to go buy a shit ton of blood vials and a shit ton of, uh... Molotov cocktails now. Although we don't really use Molotov cocktails very much else. Uh, we might buy some pungent blood, whatever it's called. Red jeweled brooch. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> that was actually quite funny. I've seen the cheese. So, he, we don't have to do it right here, because we, we just can't hit it. That lip was interconnecting it with us. Damn. <laughs> all the cheese, I'll take it. We're going to do all the cheese we can, chat. I actually really love doing these low-level runs and learning cheeses for, for bosses, and just in general. Like, shortcuts in the game and stuff like that. But that was one of my favorite parts about doing the Soul Level 1 run of Dark Souls 1. It's so much fun. Like all, like especially Dark Souls Remastered or Dark Souls One. There are a lot of just random skips where you can just jump off things and you just end up in other places in the game. And it's similar to this as well. That you have probably played this before, and but I haven't seen you play it before. Yeah, we have played this before. Only once, about three months ago. Now I played it all bosses, uh, cane whip only. Um, but yeah, I, I've forgotten a lot of it. We did a cane whip. We leveled so. We're definitely still going to be struggling a bit, um, but not not that much, hopefully. It is blood level 4, uh, which is going to increase the struggle. I definitely wouldn't do first playthrough blood level 4. Uh, I would, <laughs> I might do first playthrough case to uh, all bosses only, uh, but not blood level 4, or soul level 1. The big and with spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame. It makes my head... Shudder uncontrollably. I'm actually, I've, you know what's kind of interesting? I've never actually used the uh, blood cocktail strat on the beast, the blood starved beast. So I'm kind of excited to try that out. Oh, blood gym workshop tool. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, the church. We're also probably going to go back and um, get the lady, bring her in here. Just because I want to rescue and talk to most of the NPCs in this playthrough, since I didn't do a lot of them last time. But yeah, if you guys, again, Paris was doing this earlier, if you guys have any tips for a Blood Level 4 playthrough, or when we're beating a boss, you see something that could be used improvement, feel free to shoot it my way. I can't promise we'll actually do it, but feel free to uh, discuss it if you would like. All in church. It's about a name but I'd go deal with cat accident. A cat accident? What is a, what, what kind of cat accident was it? Did it knock... Tons of stuff off of the shelves. I did respond to you. Would you like me to respond again? And if so, what is your question again? I think it had something to do with the blood level four. Oh, that's cheese. Step one. You must pizza be... Step two. Uh -huh. Pizza cutter step. Very sorry. <laughs> pizza cutter the step. Must have masked your sin. Step three. Profit. Good. Good. 
I don't know what pizza cutter stuff is. I assume you just mean do a bunch of damage. everyone all locked up inside, waiting for it to end. That and chop their legs does. off. Always Tartus has, thing. you know, since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going by it. The screams of women folk. The stench of blood. Blood. The snarls of beasts. I love None she, of them's too I she might be my favorite NPC. I really like her. Done for, tell oh, I'm sad. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. Oh, if you I wouldn't see. mind. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. I, I know what the weapon is. I just didn't. I didn't know you meant uh, whirly gig, jigsaw, whirly jigsaw. But we couldn't wield that at blood level four, could we? I assume not. I know I shouldn't be asking you. But yes, but I do know what you mean about that. If you happen upon someone while hunting, yes. tell them about this here Erden Chapel. If they seem worth being told, that is. Oh, and I do sincerely hope they are. <laughs> cool, cool. I think that's all she has to say. I know. If you have yeah, to cool. call, so, I do sincerely hope they are. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can do it in Blood Level 4. That's, I think this is the best weapon by far forward on Blood Level 4. Uh, so, Gatling Gigant. Very nice. The Apocalypse System. I've heard mixed things about the Apocalypse System. Some people really like it, and I think some people really hate it. Uh, do you? I assume you like it a lot. Um, but... I wonder if she's here right now. She is not here. I don't know how, when she gets here, to be honest. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try and remember how to get the Blood Star Beast easily. I think I remember how, but we're gonna we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna go and sit down at this as well. I know it's not up that way. That's where the lady is. The ba the basically the car the cleric beast, but not quite the cleric beast. If you know what I mean. The healing cleric beast. Um, but nice. I'm glad. I hope you enjoyed the game. I'm gonna go back to the sewers and talk to her up in the rafters first. We did talk to her in the sewers. Uh, already. So I thought she'd be there. That's the storyline here, like, uh, Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter Van Helsing, pretty much exactly, yes. Monster Hunter Van Helsing sort of thing. All the hunters are drinking the hunter's blood uh, to get powers, just like we are. If you look at our blood vials, we're getting powers. Uh, we're like, like healing, for example. And also, the blood that they're drinking or using is turning them into monsters um, as well. Like, the, for example, the guy we just killed, Gasguin, the first boss of the game, essentially, is... Oh my god, damn. He used to be a hunter, and he, we found him as a hunter, and then now he is... Um, he was a monster, we so had to put him down. It's also, you're in a dream pretty much the entire time as well, in a very interesting nightmare-like dream, so. It's, it's, part, it's really complex since it is a Souls-like game, Solitaire, but uh, I think has probably the best storyline of all these Souls-like games. I really enjoy it. She begins after Bloodstarved Beast, I believe. I thought her mission was to kill the Bloodstarved Beast water bubbles. Nine demons alone, and enjoy the moon your is five flash. tokens. It will be a long hunt We tonight. may be, yes, Solitaire. If the beasts loom large, we're, we're and newly initiated. To crush your spirit. Zaldir, if you would like, I can tell you a bunch of spo chalice, spoilers for it. As every hunter before you has. Uh, but a holy chalice. I think that if you like Souls games, you'll probably want to play it. The doll is deep. The doll is very communion. nice. Maria is very nice. Clearly, the wheelchair man is evil. All right. Clearly. Her mission is to kill Rom and then another hunter later in the game. Ah, I thought it was to kill the Bloodstarved Beast and that she was working with the other hunter. The campaign setting you're using because you're all set up because of uh, PBTA's open source system to use, so anyone can make their own variant system. Mass is the golden system, the system of the system because. The golden child of the system because of how well it plays. Interesting. Monster of the Week also plays well, but Dungeon World and City of Mists have a couple weak points. Gotcha. Hello, Mr. Vodix! Oh, well, you were in here earlier, but welcome back regardless, dude. All right, let's go and fortify our weapon. Oh. Oh, we just spent all of our money, so of course we can. If we have any more blood, uh, gems. We don't! <laughs> Feels good. All right, let's go get some, uh, let's go get some more Molotov cocktails and some, uh, shit is that? Zoom in sight and ring the beckoning bell. Ah, oh, we don't want that. We don't want to co cooperate, chat. That's ridiculous. Looks so smooth. The graphics are really pretty compared to the remastered. Jelly? Oh. It is. The combat is probably the smoothest of all the Souls games, and it's faster paced, more reactionary. 
Um, and the, 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 honestly, the main, like, really good point for me, uh, is the weaponry. It is less weapon variety, like, much less, but much more weapon intricacy. For example, like, watch my, watch my weapon, this is the saw cleaver. It has this form, and then if I move it, it has a giant saw cleaver form as well. Uh, and you can, you can weave in combos where you switch it mid-attack. We don't have much stamina, so we can't do it now. It's a really cool system, and all the weapons are designed to have a switch form, uh, just like that. Alright, so we're gonna go farm some more blood violence, some more bullets real quick. Uh, it'll just be easy that way. And, uh, yeah. Very nice, Giggly Geek Cat, I like it. So, when you said you finished the game, do you mean that you finished, like, the entire game, or you just finished up for the day? Salt Cleaver has a Salt Cleaver form, you don't say! I do say water bubbles. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna come up with a different word to describe the second form. Oh wait, they already came up with a word. <laughs> it's literally called a saw cleaver. Have you played any Batman games? I so you know what is interesting. I actually have not. And all of the Arkham games really look like the type of game I would enjoy. Uh, and it kind of saddens me sometimes that I haven't. But I don't think there's any any new versions of them coming out. I have. I, let me. I, I take that back. Actually, I have played one of them a little bit. Pretty sure I played Arkham Asylum a bit back in the day, but no, nothing like super extensive. Nothing super extensive. So the answer is, I'm just gonna say no. Uh, and I may never. Unless I do a throwback, throwback playthrough, but that seems somewhat unlikely. Sometimes the hitboxes on these guys are quite strange. Don't you push me! What's also cool is there is recovery health, just like what I just did. I don't really know what it's called. Uh, there's a proper term for it. Uh, but it also leans, it lends to the increased pace of combat. What? Are you ki- Oh, I hate that. I hate that. So what happened there is we got the visceral. And we were just a little too far to the right and we missed it. Which kind of sucks. Alright, he's dead. Just a session of the day, gotcha. There's a new Batman game coming out, really? Interesting. Old games don't pay the bills. Old games pay the bills. Uh, just to prevent me from going on massive tangents and playing every game unrelated to any other game that's about, that has recently come out. Uh, those are the rules, and I do break those rules sometimes, um, but not usually. The only time I'll really break the rules are if the game is really short and I can play it in one session. It's called the rally system, that's right. The weapon has rally potential based on type and upgrade level. Owlboy, yeah, exactly. Owlboy's a great example of that as well. Owlboy actually, honestly, would do pretty well viewer-wise, uh, and also would um, be an amazing playthrough, but again, I can't just go back and play whatever else. So don't watch you play that, I know. Play every game, that's the problem, Solitaire, I can't. What's bad about old games? Nothing at all. Actually, old games are amazing. For example, this is an old game. But I have to somehow rationalize me playing it. And the rules the channels say, at least my arbitrary rules that I came up with, is usually I will not play a game on stream unless it is somehow related to a new game that's coming out. I love to play through old games that are franchise related, so like, say a new Witcher game came out, came out play through Witcher 3 again, or play through whatever. Uh, that's why we're doing this right now, because we just played DSR and I wanted to revisit some of the other ones. Um, but, again, it's kind of an arbitrary rule, but it keeps me sort of in line a bit. They could be even better than new games, I know, Vonix. I didn't say they couldn't be. <laughs> I completely agree. Where the channel is to play new games? That's not true, actually. There are tons of tons of people who play old games... Uh, and grow their channel massively, actually much faster than I do. For example, all of the Soulsborne streamers, like Joe, for example, is he was smaller than me when I first met him a month and a half ago, and now his channel is about twice my size. Um, the all the speedrunners who do any Mario-related content, they're massive as well. So now that's not actually true at all, uh, but it is a way, and it's the way I go about it. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, the original Jim, welcome in, my man. How are you? And how was the stream, dude? Thank you very much for the host. I imagine you were playing some Zelda, potentially. So, guys, I just tried to all tap out, but I'm playing on PS4. If you're not following the original Jim, 
You should go toss him a follow. He's speed running some Zelda lately, I believe, or maybe something else. Dignity, how are you, dude? Welcome back in. It's good to see you. Hope you're doing well this fine evening. For those that have not been here before and are coming from Jim's channel, we are a variety stream. We play a wide range of games. We've currently been on some Darkest Dungeon and some uh, Soulsborne kicks. Uh, we are doing a challenge run right now, a blood level 4 challenge run of Bloodborne. To spend more of the time. As Bajin like Yeah, exactly, that is well, Vonix. When Triangle starts playing Fortnite, we'll know he's sold out to grow the channel. That's right. That's right. Speed runs and getting over it. Oh no, dude, not getting over it. Oh, that game is one of the few games that has slain me. I cannot stand that game. Uh, I played it, couldn't do it. <laughs> I, I just, oh. Oh god, it, it destroyed my soul. It completely destroyed my soul. Just like KWD and Zeus' channel, so it's been players. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Or, um, The Happy Hob, or, um, Squilla Killer, any of those. Absolutely tastes like purple. It's definitely an interesting thing. Growing channels is a very diverse setting. Uh, it can happen in many ways. It's killing my face! It's so hard! Wait, so have you beaten it, or are you trying to speedrun it? Uh, or. Are you just trying it for the first time? Where are we at in the spectrum right now? PV Fortnite is fun though? I have heard that. Though expensive. I don't know why they haven't made it free to play yet. Are we going to do one more farming run, grab some more uh, blood vials from these fools, and keep going? The normal world games uh, don't really seem like Trunkle's thing. Yeah, absolutely. They are not my thing. Not very much at all. Uh, but I also like them. Uh, I just don't enjoy streaming them or playing them. So I don't really like them. But I think they're fun to watch sometimes. First time playthrough, nice. So how far have you gotten? It's so it so feels bad, man, Jim, to go watch uh, speed runs of that game where they beat it in like three minutes, and then you sit there grinding for like six hours and don't beat it. Oh, that is just the worst. <laughs> the toilet. That's where I fell back at the bottom. Yeah, very nice. I got you. Fortnite is free. PVE Fortnite is not Vonix, uh, which is how it was originally made. Um, they made, uh, they made Fortnite as a standalone game, uh, PvE, and then they, when PUBG became really successful, they converted it to a Battle Royale style. Uh, the original game was $60 and was coming out as free-to-play when it was fully released. Uh, and it actually it may get fully released as free-to-play still, I really don't know. So it actually might not be expensive anymore, I'm not, not really sure. Uh, the PvE was out well before Battle Royale version. Oh yeah, absolutely. And Cuphead DLC? Hell yes I will be! There's nothing that could stop me from playing the Cuphead DLC. Oh, don't you hurt me, you fools! I hate them, I hate them. How's Bloodborne not gonna get into Compared to Dark Souls? I, it's fantastic. Again, I love the game. I've already beaten it all bosses before. The combat is definitely different, but I, I like this game atmospherically probably more than I like Dark Souls. Uh, and also combat-wise probably more than I like Dark Souls. It is a faster, more reactionary combat. But yeah, it's, it's a good time. The Uncharted short film, isn't that, uh, it, I think I did see part of that. Isn't that the one that's starring, like, that guy from that detective show called Castle? I think it is. But I'm very much enjoying it, Dignity. I, I really like this kind of, like, Victorian style. Yeah, the one with Nathan Fillion, that's right. Okay, so there's also a guy here I forgot to talk to, so let's chat for a second. Oh, you must be a hunter. And not one from around here, either. I'm Gilbert. I'll have to go check out the whole thing. Outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. By the way, Plastic, well, thank you for the following. I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> this town is cursed. The full the movie, that would be kind of cool. You should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. So he's telling me essentially that the place is evil, the blood is evil, everything is evil, and that I should leave. And he's right. He's very right. So we're going to kill everything instead of leaving. And then, unless we get enough insight uh, and drink and eat, the uh, umbilical cords will still end up dying. Did you play Last Uncharted, but that series was so good. I haven't played any of them. 
How long did that, uh, it take you to beat Cons? Took me 40 plus attempts? Same. Absolutely. Essentially what I did taste like purple is I was using a, a whip playthrough all the way through, and I just paired and backstabbed him until he, would, until he was dead. And it took me a while to learn it. I would say it was like 45, 50 attempts, something like that. Uh, pretty rapidly back to back, just going in, going in, going in, and then farming up a couple blood uh, vials and then doing it again, but yeah. It was a very challenging fight for me. Probably the hardest fight for me, maybe next to Abritus, just because we didn't have enough damage to stagger Abritus, uh, and then also not enough damage to rapidly kill her. Um, whereas Orphan, once we learned to parry and backstab him, we could kill him pretty easily since we did a massive amount of damage. Boot him off! To go to bed very nice. Hey, Jim! Welcome, my friend, the Knights of Pythagorean, dude. <laughs> Thank you so much for that Prime subscription. I really appreciate it, dude. All the hype and good vibes your way. You will be receiving your sub badge in the next two weeks. We got them all designed and worked out. Thank you, man. Seriously. And welcome in as a squire. You will serve the knighthood. And you will serve it well. <laughs> Enjoy your rock on, your hype emotes, and dude, seriously, thank you so much for that. And guys, again, if you want to see some Zelda speedruns, some awesome shenanigans, go follow the man, the original Jim, right over there. Go do it. He deserves it. I forgot that launches soon. I mean, what launches soon? Oh yeah, the sub badges, indeed, yeah. I've been uh, carefully working on designing some pretty awful looking bit uh, sub badges they're not they're not that awful but i am just not a professional artist so they're sort of okay can you design my sub badges as, as absolutely dude you gotta let me know how they uh, turn out when you get them man that's uh, okay it takes time dude it's kind of hard you gotta remember to do that stuff i forget that sort of thing all the time and breeze is weakest to thrust bolt damage absolutely um if we, apparently in this run, we're going to be testing this out because we're probably most likely going to be doing all bosses in this playthrough. If we, what we're going to be doing is just pretty much every boss that needs it. We're going to be popping a beast blood pellet, putting lightning or fire on it, and just wrecking them. And that's how it works with uh, Abritus as well. Or something like the rifle spear or the church pick should work great, yeah. But we're going to be using this, obviously, because it's blood level 4 and we need that one. See you later, Jim, and again, man. Thank you so much for that sub, dude. I appreciate it. I really do. You're a beast, man. You're a beast. All right, so we're gonna go buy some more blood uh, vials, and then we're gonna just continue forward. Uh, we're gonna go get our buddy, the blood starved beast, murder him to death. Uh, oh, wait a second! No, no, no! There's something I want to do here, real quick. We're gonna actually go back there to go get the lady and tell her about the safe house. I always forget about that. We gotta find the old lady, the grumpy old lady, the grumpy old lady. So we're gonna go buy buy some Molotov cocktails, and then we're gonna go right back to where we just were. Um, well, this is a blood level 4 run for the most part. It's also going to be, uh, huh, wait, can you buy 20 for only 240? Jesus. That's awesome. I really didn't know that. We're also going to be going, finding most of the NPCs, exploring some of the side missions that I didn't explore the first time through the game as well. Uh, because we can, and I like to, and that's going to be awesome. And because some of the NPCs and some of the lore around this game is some of the best out of all the Souls games, and that is just awesome. I love that stuff. I love it, chat. I don't understand it very much, but I love it. It's a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah, Abritus we should be fine against, I think. Uh, I watched a strat of how to, pl how to play that fight as a Blood Level 4 player. I um, actually watched k Woody do it. The dude is a monster. The dude is a monster! And uh, if you just pop Beast Blood Pellet, go whack her on her on her like limb down at the bottom and then when she gets to about a third of her health charge an attack and hit her on the head when she bends down you can just absolutely murder her absolutely murder her we're gonna bed enjoy the stream water bubbles thank you for being here my man enjoy your sleep and get some good solid rest i'll see you around <laughs> and enjoy your five tokens as well well deserved my man well deserved Whenever, whenever we walk through here, we're just going to get some extra blood vials and stuff because we can. Uh, it's an easy place to farm, them, especially these guys. Uh, they're fairly easy to kill. Oh, huh. I actually don't know if we can... I don't know if we can parry that heavy attack. That's the other really, like, really, really great thing about, uh, oh my god, are you... 
about parrying is you get the visceral, and if they hit you right before the visceral, it literally just doesn't matter. Oh god. Because you regen all of your health because you do so much damage with the visceral. A bit of a strange attack pattern. All right, so the lady we're looking for is like right down here. I think we need to jump, or actually just walk across right here. And she should be here. Yeah, there's gonna be some dogs here as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use one quick pot because I don't want to die to this said dog. Uh, they're really easy to kill. Actually, oh, that's the other thing. Oh my god, I almost forgot, dude. We gotta upgrade. We gotta upgrade our weapons so we don't fight blood star beasts and everything with with a shitty weapon. All right, she's the one who wanted to know about the safe house. We're gonna just let her in. Uh, we're also gonna go buy some. I should forget if it's fire paper or electrical paper. I think it's fire paper we want. So we're gonna tell her. The only person we don't want to tell about the chapel is the crazy ass bandit who is actually a giant uh, malevolent beast in disguise. Get that mess done with. I love her. She's great. She's so grumpy. No, <laughs> she's so grumpy. We're gonna make sure she's back here, uh, the crow lady, before going forward. We've grabbed most of the loot from this area, but it'll just be best to go ahead and grab it. I think I think she should have moved. Yeah, she's moved because we exhausted her to dialogue. All right, cool, cool. Um, go ahead and equip some hunter's marks. Go back. I'm like 90% sure this doesn't get rid of our, our blood echoes. I'm like 99% sure, but hopefully it doesn't. Hey, tastes like purple. Thank you for that follow. Very much appreciated. Nice to meet you. Discuss, converse about the game. You seem very knowledgeable about it. All right, very cool. Yeah, and that doesn't take away our blood echoes. Nice. So we're gonna go upgrade our weapon. I think it costs around 250. I also need to remember to repair my weapon. It's something that after playing Souls games where you don't need to repair it, I just forget so frequently. Um, so if it seems like it's been a wild chat since I have repaired my weapon, please yell at me and tell me to repair it uh, if you wouldn't mind. Do we decide? Yeah, yeah. We know. We know. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and fortify our weapon. Very good. We need some more of these to go up another level. I really don't have very many. I think we can actually buy them with insight, but I honestly forget. I think. You can buy them. Wait. Oh, I really thought we could. Huh. I'm gonna buy some pungent blood cocktails because. They're really useful against the blood-starved bees. Wait, you don't need to repair in Dark Souls? Okay, well, you do need to repair in Dark Souls, but you don't need to do it uh, if you... In Dark Souls 3, if you sit at bonfires frequently enough. In Dark Souls 2, I think the same deal. If you sit at bonfires frequently enough, you don't need to do it. And in Dark Souls 1, I think it's the same, actually. I've completed the game about ten times! Very nice indeed. Have you checked out the Chalice Dungeons? Some people like them, some people really don't. I'm gonna bow out for a while, very nice. I'll be back later, depends on how another stream I follow is going. Very nice, enjoy your night, dude. Thank you for being here, I appreciate it. Cheers, and always, my man. <laughs> enjoy your night, dude. I'll see you around, man. All right, very cool. Uh, maybe we can buy them here? Honestly, I forget. 